Greetings, beloved hearts of love. It is a son, Papa a son, who comes to you in this broadcast today. I am truly grateful for the precious moments that I have with you. My class in the Radiant Rose Academy is Living the Dream class. My purpose is to assist you wherever I can into living the most beautiful life whilst you are on the earth. Now I wish to speak with you for a few moments regarding your world of manifestation, experience, and becoming more of a conscious creator, as well as to reveal to you the greater light that is now coming into your planet and into the lives of humankind. Light that will help you to consciously create all that you desire. So let us have a little review, precious hearts. When you know what you choose to create, manifest, and experience in this world, I urge you to start a practice but when you know what you wish to create, what you desire to manifest, that you would go back into your heart and mind. Try this little exercise. Make sure your mind is clear and still. With a quiet mind and no chatter, see clearly the thing that you wish to create. Hold an image in your mind of the finished product, of the result, whether it be a relationship, a new home, whether it be a career. See and feel yourself crystal clear with the desired outcome. And in silence, joyful silence, hold that picture, hold that image in your mind. For a few moments. Now you are using your brain like a camera is being used and imprinting a picture within your mind. Just as you are about to take a picture and you are holding that camera very still and you are about to press the shutter button, you are doing the same thing with your mind in the crystal clear visioning of what you are choosing to manifest, to experience. When you see your picture clearly in mind, holding it very steady, allowing yourself to feel its accomplishment, you have begun the process of consciously manifesting your heart's desires. Allow yourself to see many of the details of your manifestation in your mind. Know that as you do this, you are actually working with a universal substance that is everywhere about you, in the air and the atmosphere. These particles are invisible to your present human sight, Yet billions and trillions of these particles of universal substance could fit inside a small room. Beloved hearts, I am speaking of creative visualization here. And you have had teachers come and speak volume on this subject. It is unfortunate that most human beings still undervalue their ability to do this. What you desire to create and bring forth into your world, choose, visualize, and feel it clearly. Hold the vision and feeling for a few minutes. Do this several times a week. Stay in silence as you hold the image and then just let it go. Release it. Turn it over to the inner God presence within you, the inner 
eye and your heart flame and let it do its part. Give your choices, your desires. Once you have formed a clear image of them, give them over to the great God presence of your being to manifest the energy that abides in the universe for your creation. Do this often, working within your chosen cycles of manifestation. Now you are beginning to do your part in conscious creative manifestation. And as you do this three, four times a week, now relax and know it shall be done. Each one will feel this and picture it a little differently, and that is fine. What you will eventually see when you are doing your creative visualizations is actually an inner screen that forms in your mind that you visualize upon. After you have done this a few times, you will feel this mental visual screen in your mind and realize you are simply imprinting your imagery, your choices, energetically upon it. After you do this, then what you have internalized simply moves out into the universe for manifestation. You have done your part. Do it with feeling. Do it with all the mental and visual ability that you have and release it. Turn it over to the great God flame, the inner eye within you. Then go on about your day, allowing no negative thoughts or doubts regarding your choices. You have done your work. All that you need to do now is to hold within yourself a feeling of expectation. You are becoming once again what I would call the architect of your world of manifestation and experience. Now, precious hearts, once a good architect has finished his or her design and given it over to the contractors to create, he or she would not go back to them every week with a changed mind and say to the builders, give me those designs back. I want to change something. The building would never be constructed, would it? So it is to get crystal clear on what it is that you choose to create, to experience, work with creative visualization, and then let it go. And realize that when you are letting it go, you are turning it over to your own spiritual nature, the inner eye that abides within you. And knowing that that energy then goes out into the world for manifestation. May I also add, however, that if you decide to completely redesign a creation that's already in your world in any future moment, that is also your choice and divine right. Yet for now, I recommend that you stick with what you choose to consciously create until your outer world brings you proof of this wonderful creation. Now, beloved hearts, please recognize that you have the full power to do what you wish with your life. I am attempting to prove to you that you are co-creators and that you have the ability to create what you desire and choose to experience in this world. I wish to remind you how to use your mental, feeling, and physical bodies to create all that you desire and to gently assist you to rediscover intelligence, presence, and power that exists within your own life force and how to tap into that. 
You have the full power, beloved hearts, to do what you wish with your life. You do not have the power or authority to dictate to another individual what they will do with their life. Each person must do that individually on their own. We urge you to use your imagination more often. We urge you to believe in yourself. Recognize that there is knowledge now, much greater knowledge and greater light that is coming to humanity to help human beings to rediscover the magic of their lives and how to tap into that. Now, of course, if you are feeling guilty or unworthy and not capable, then together we are going to have to work on uprooting those debilitating emotions. Those kind of emotions and fears will stand as obstacles to anything you wish to consciously create. So we must learn how to release those emotions. And the process begins with forgiving yourself. Forgiving yourself for allowing yourself to feel anything less than love. In my transmissions with you, and in my Living the Dream class, I hope to keep covering all of this. So deeply do we long, do I long for your freedom. And I invite you to visualize people coming and supporting your dreams. Pray that people will come forth and support your dreams. And in a way that you can support them in their dreams. Create greater opportunities. It is a time for great, greater prosperity and opportunity in your lives, regardless of what is going on in the outer world, precious hearts. It is a time to see how you intimately affect not only your personal reality, but also global reality. It is the time to recognize that changing your reality outside of yourself can begin and can be as easy as changing an attitude within yourself. This is actually not as a difficult thing to do, especially once you begin to build some momentum. So where can you begin? It all begins with the desire to release the prejudices and judgments that you may have held within your personality. Desire to unlock the limiting beliefs you may be holding and be willing to see and receive the bigger picture. Because, precious hearts, the day-to-day -day picture in the thinking mind of human beings is fairly rigid. The personality of a human being can be pretty obstinate at times. The personality level of the human condition is steeped in limiting beliefs. Perhaps you could remember that you are not only a personality. You are a human being, a spiritual human being. And you have your own unique spiritual flame within your heart that represents the angelized aspect of life that each of you are. The personality has become so humanized in the outer world. And for many individuals, they are creating their reality outside of themselves using the outer eye. In other words, many are living life the hard way. Most human beings have not yet discovered the inner I, the magic presence within their heart and at the center of their consciousness and its infinite power. 
from the outer eye of the human intellect that has so mistaken reality, you have unintentionally given all your power away. Yet I say unto you, the outer eye has no more power left, for it has all been given to the world outside. Unfortunately, most human beings do not know of the inner eye, the spiritual presence within, and its infinite power, or how to even access it. All the true power of your life is held within the inner I am of each of you, but it is unrealized by most and therefore never experienced. Now, I feel that a wonderful exercise to do, a powerful ritual is to stand one day in your living room and call back, use your voice and call back all the power you have given away outside of yourself and anything you have agreed to that could possibly limit you. For any belief system you gave power to, simply by agreeing with those belief systems, try calling the power back. Calling that power back into your heart, where your heart can there transmute it. There are thousands of belief systems that human beings are holding on to that are very limiting in nature. And each of you, precious hearts, who are finding a spiritual path, you have been given, you have given power too many times to varying beliefs and thereby limited your human experience. I urge you to meditate more often upon the inner eye that abides at the center of your consciousness so that that inner I can empower your life more often. Beloved hearts, health is not something to be governed by the pharmaceutical movement or public opinion, nor is health something to be governed by the personality. Health is part of your life force. You inherited it. It is your natural state of beingness. It is dynamic in nature and not that difficult to maintain when, when you truly understand how your thoughts, fears, judgments, and emotions and attitudes do affect your state of health. When you make fundamental choices, as you now are, for greater peace, love, light, and joy, which are the very natural qualities of your being, you are choosing once again on behalf of yourself. When you are choosing yourself again by claiming your right to life, your life and your health will come running back to you. It is great fun, beloved hearts, and you will get stronger and healthier. Now, with all that is going on in the world, the light is growing. And as the light grows and increases, what has been sinister, what has been dark, and what has been hidden becomes revealed. And it is revealed so that humanity can remove those things from their lives and world. 
light, as it enters into your mind, is a powerful means, beloved precious hearts, of becoming a better conscious creator. Now, something most beautiful is moving towards this great planet, Earth. And it is voluminous amounts of light that is coming in from the angelic realms and the ascended masters realms. This is to assist the great awakening. And because of humanity's efforts for a constructive and peaceful life, that is now something most beautiful to behold moving towards this great planet Earth. And it comes from another octave. And it truly feels right to share this information with you, to place some emphasis upon it. Many are awakening now, and you are ready to know more of the assistance that is coming in to further humankind's progress. There is a tremendous light shining upon the world. And it is coming from new, mighty, crystal cities of light that exist in the higher realms of planet Earth's dimensions. Many ascended masters have created these cities of light just for this time. As the seventh golden age unfolds, from these cities, these cities of light, cosmic beings of light are pouring forth sacred rays of healing for the cleansing and purifying of your nations. From these heights, the most wonderful service is now being provided to the free nations of the world. It is the intention of the ascended host and great cosmic beings to build a great focus of light over the entire world to assist all of humankind, all the kingdoms of life upon the earth, the elements, and the earth herself. I would like to say that each of you if you have the intention in your meditations and even in your sleep states, you could visit some of these great cities of light that are expanding in the greater octaves. You could come and visit them and see them in your light bodies. Many are doing this now. However, they are not remembering it in their daily thinking minds. You can visit them in your meditations or when you put your body down to sleep at night. When you intend to visit these great cities of light that I speak of, ask your guardian angel, the mother, father, spiritual presence within you, or whatever you call the master within you, to take you there. Ask to be escorted by an angelic presence. And that your first experience of these cities of light be that which is in for your highest good. From these great cities are coming a stepping up of tremendous rays of purifying light, which are coming now to cleanse and purify the earth, the structure of the earth, the earth's plates and gas belts, the earth elements, to release the dense and dark and discordant energies that your earth has been forced to carry for too long. The masters of light are bringing in the sacred fire and healing rays of these greater octaves and much healing presence 
is also entering into the ocean beds and floors underneath your islands and land masses. Great healing activity is presently being poured onto your planet and much greater assistance is planned now for humanity at this hour. This is all because the essence of love and light is now beginning to be realized and lived by many. You see, beloved hearts, Creator God Source expresses perfectly through each human being when that being awakens and specifically awakens up to the glory that for too long has been hidden within themselves, acknowledge that glory and seek to make your life an instrument of it. This is the great awakening unfolding in your world now. I urge you to more often consciously open your heart and call upon your master God self to make of you a mighty outpouring of divine love each and every day. Speak to your beloved God, I am of your being. Make of me an outpouring of divine love. Wherever I go, see that wave upon wave upon wave of unconditional love goes out from me and literally washes clean all the discord of the human world. See that this unconditional love goes forth and gives great assistance to my fellow human beings. What a difference just that one call would make in your life and for others and for your planet. Many human beings on spiritual paths are doing this now. They are doing it enough to make a difference. And when human beings step out to make a difference in their lives with the life they have been given, they are given much assistance from above. For you are reminded, precious hearts, you live in a free will sector of the universe and assistance can only be given when human beings take the power back into their lives, align with their spiritual nature and with the light. Align yourselves once again, precious hearts, with the recognition that you are not entities separate from source. Just as you have your own beloved earth children, we each have a beloved mother, father, creator that we know in our system of life as the infinite I am presence that individualizes itself as individual life, that being each of you. Now, beloved friends, I am suggesting also that in the past, many of your lives were turned inside out, upside down, and you were pulled from one thing to another, from one path to another. Now you must trust your spiritual nature, your path. For some of you, your lives are moving forward beautifully now. And for some of you, you're still being turned inside out. I understand and I know what is going on. Now you must look into your heart. In addition, you must know that you are the power to decide for yourself what will be. You can recover from any mistake that you have ever made in this life. Did you hear that? You can recover from any mistake you have ever made in your life. Your life is the greatest jewel of the universe. 
just waiting to be fully comprehended and awakened by your personal efforts. You cannot and should not and ought not dictate to another human being. However, you can choose love and you can choose to build life for yourself. I urge you not to allow your days ahead of you to be affected by any negative history or to be affected by the storms in the outer world. Let your days ahead of you be affected by the choices you are making in the present now moment. Make it a goal to become more of a conscious creator and realize with the light coming in that light in your mind is going to help you focus and visualize, as I spoke moments ago, on what it is that you wish to experience, what it is that you wish to manifest. Begin, beloved, to use the light of love's eternal presence that is found within your hearts. It is your right to use the light, live by the light. It is your right to live your life from the core of love, which is the true essence of your being. In truth, when a person moves into full recognition of their divinity, of their source, of love and perfection, and open themselves to be an instrument of the same, eventually there is nothing to heal. Everything in this world is illusory. All is human creation. And so while you believe in magic, precious hearts, Go for the light. The cosmic law is such that it reveals perfection at all times. When an individual says to their life that they desire to live by the cosmic law, the spiritual nature that gave them life in the first place. Human beings who live in limitation, in duality, cannot change anything that is of cosmic law. Anything that has been created by fully conscious beings, revealing perfection at all times, becomes a cosmic law. And whether you recognize that it's in your life every day. Your sun rises every day. Two plus two is four. You cannot do anything to change these things. But everything in your outer activity can be changed. Everything in the outer activity can be changed because the outer activity, things going on in the outer world, are but temporary human miscreation. That is all. And the quickest way to change anything that has gained a momentum of energy, that is the limiting appearances in your world of disease or forms of lack and expressions of fear, is to realize they find those things are found as part of old or current belief systems. Most believe that their good is dependent upon someone or something outside of themselves. Or their good is dependent on working for someone else. These are all belief systems. Precious hearts. Open up. There are many ways of making money, for example. Working for someone else is one such way. Working for yourself is another way. However, there are thousands of other ways of producing supply in your lives. However, you must recognize the true source of supply, 
that which is your own great God divinity, the mother father consciousness of the universe, and open yourselves to receive the supply life always intended you to have. The intelligence of that supply will find its own channel when you realize the inner eye is your true source and is infinite in measure, then whether your resources come through you or to you makes no difference. For always you are remembering that there is only one true source of supply, of health, then, when, then what is required here is a foundational change in your inner truth and your beliefs and holding the highest truth at all times regardless of the appearances. Your own inner heart flame that many of the masters introduce you to is your most immediate source of good. So somewhere you must begin to tap into your own inner resources more. It is now a matter of educating yourselves, reminding yourself of this inner presence instead of worrying about this, that, and the other thing. Remind yourself of the inner presence that is within each of you. And acquire the knowledge and the skills of how to access this inner heart flame. It is in all the Ascended Master teachings. Certainly to begin, you could open yourself consciously to this inner power and presence by acknowledgement and acceptance of it. And begin to let it flow out from you into your life. Now, beloved hearts, you do not even need to deserve it. Actually, the fact is that all of you deserve it. The fact is, is that all of you deserve the best that you can give and that you can receive. It all starts with willingness. You need to be willing to have all that you desire because it is inherent within you. The limiting thing that you can do with your health and your abundance is to deny it and to form some beliefs around it. The truth is, you are life and you have the abundance of life stored within your beingness. The thing here is that humanity lost the knowledge regarding these things. But that is certainly changing now as more reach out to discover what has for too long been hidden within them. Beloved ones, do not hesitate to follow your heart. You do not need a world that is full of money and no heart. You require a heart that is full of faith and knowingness. For what is in your heart's flame can, if you are open, if you are receptive, if you invite it to be so, what is in your own heart's flame can produce all that you require in your life. This can only happen, of course, when you give your loving attention back to your heart flame. And realize that that is where your true power is. Stop giving your power away to limiting beliefs and the apparent side of life. Or to others outside of yourself. I, as son, urge you to live from your spiritual center. And learn to trust what you are taught from the masters, from your own God divinity within yourself. When you trust in yourself and know that there are infinite resources, your own inner self, your own inner I 
can produce for you, life will become much richer for you. Know that you are being guided moment to moment to the right person and the right place. Claim it. For I say unto you, it is magical when you live from the heart. It is truly a magical thing. And hundreds of thousands of people have now left limitation behind them, have left everything behind that chokes the human spirit, and are now building spiritual lives of joy, love, health, and supply. Generally, when you look into the history of those people's lives, they all have a miracle to tell. And this is all because they said yes to life. And so, precious hearts, with all the light that is coming in, as you discover your own spiritual nature, as you turn your attention within and upwards to receive all the gifts and blessings, the light and love and sacred fire of your own God presence and from the angelic realm and the ascended master realm. This is magnificent, yet it does not dismiss the responsibility that each of you have to become Conscious creator beings. And for this reason, I spoke into this for a few moments. And with the light coming in, your mind and your feelings and all your resources will be so sharpened. I say to you, the quickest way to change anything that has built up a momentum of any kind of limiting appearance in your life is simply to say, absolutely not. Say to yourself, enough is enough. Recognize that each of you can affect and change your realities. When you move into a new communion, with the presence within your heart, with the inner eye God self, and discover the true power and presence that lives within you is your own holy grail. As you do this, your heart will then illumine your mind with brilliant thoughts and assist you to use your mind in new and profound ways to create the life that you desire and the life that you deserve. I hold each of you precious in my heart and I am only a breath away. And if you wish greater of my assistance in your life, just whisper a son, come and be with me. And I will, and I will know what needs to be done. Dear hearts, namaste, namaste, namaste.